Okay, here we have the uh, Thermo Scientific Niton XL3T, and the case comes with an extra battery. And the other battery is located in the bottom here, just pulls out, uh, you know, clip it and pulls out. Comes with all the data cables uh, necessary, charger pack, and the charger base for the other battery. I've set it up already. Uh, the password to get in is 1234. Uh, it's also included in the paperwork that comes with it. I've already set it up uh, to take a, a, an electronic alloy reading. The uh, front of the gun, this is where it takes the reading from. I have a disc here. Okay, we're going to take a 20 second reading on the disc and then I'll show you the results. Okay, reading has completed. The fail is not an indication that there's a problem with this, it's just a, uh, with the testing that's involved. Shows you immediately the amount of lead on this particular test. And if we scroll down, it will go through all the different elements, show you the percentage of the material uh, that it detected. And uh, this is a um, mostly tin if I remember correctly yes this is a mostly tin alloy and as you can see it's 95 percent or 94.39 percent tin and then all the other trace elements that are included in it this will work on different uh, there are many different alloys uh, plastics um, but it does not have the lead feature for paint um, other than that though the instrument as you can see it's got the battery display everything is working on it uh, the display is maneuverable, so you can hold it in different positions and monitor the display. You have touch keys here to go through menus, a return key, and on the bottom here are your data ports, so you can connect to, uh, to a computer. Uh, it does have a, a USB cord, and it also does have software with it to uh, take your data from here and transport it onto a computer. simple.